I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic functions. I have seen students making some mistakes in application questions, so I took three examples here to discuss a strategy to solve such questions. You will find that these three questions are related, however, they have entirely different approach, especially when it comes to sketching the diagram. The first question is, a parabolic bridge is being designed. It is 15 meter high and 6 meter wide at a height of 8 meters. Find the width of the bridge at its base. You get the idea. So it is a parabolic bridge, so we could uh, say something like this. Right, so it is saying that the critical part here is that the parabolic bridge is being designed with 15 meter high. So this height is 15 meters. 6 meter wide at a height 8 meters. So that means somewhere here, if the height is 8 meters, then this width is 6 meters. You get the idea. So that is your question number 1. Question number two is, if the edge of the highway is the origin and the highway is 12 meter wide, what is the equation of the parabola if the height of the overpass 2 meter from the edge of the highway is 8 meters? So this question is slightly trickier. Now here, uh, let's first sketch and then we'll try to understand the situation. Here we have a parabolic path. It says, if the edge of a highway, now highway, when we're talking about, is kind of a supporting system to a highway. Think like this. Now, I think it'll be clear when it says kind of like this. So, let's read. If the edge of the highway, so this is the edge of the highway, is the origin and the highway is 12 meter wide. So, so this highway is 12 meter wide. So we are given that this is 12 meters. What is the equation of parabola if the height of the overpass 2 meter from the edge of the highway is 8 meters? So, so from here, if you go 2 meters in, then this is 8 meters up. So this is 8 when you go 2 meters in. Do you understand? So that is question number 2. Now let's look into question number 3, which is a tunnel with a parabolic arc is 12 meter wide. So this time again, we'll assume this to be a parabolic tunnel. So we are saying this tunnel is 12 meter wide. Okay, if the height of the arc 4 meter from the edge, so from here, if I take 4 meters, so that means 6 here, right? So, so if I take 4 meters from here, kind of like this, if the height of the arc 4 meter, this is 4 meters, from the edge is 6 meters, then this height is 6. Can a truck that is 5 meter tall and 6 meter wide pass through the tunnel. Justify your answer. So do you see that? So we are looking for a truck to pass through it uh, somewhere here, right? Where uh, it is 5 meter tall and 6 meter wide. So this is 6 meter. That is the question for you, right? Is it 5 meters at this point or not? That is the question which you need to answer in question number three. So I hope you get the concept how all these questions which relate to finding equation of a parabola are different. And looking into their differences, I think key part here is also to decide where should we put our axis, the x and y axis, and what type of equation should we work with? Should we work with the vertex form or the 
intercept form, right? That is what we are going to look into in this particular video. I hope that makes sense. So let's begin with the very first one. You have already seen the kind of diagram we are looking into. A parabolic bridge is being designed. It is 15 meter high and 6 meter wide at the height of 8 meters. Find the width of the bridge at its base. So let's say that is the bridge which we are talking about. We'll take the horizontal x-axis along the base, which is kind of like this, and the vertical axis along the vertex, right? So that becomes our axis. And we know this point here is the highest point, which is 15. That is 0. We need to find these points. Now, we are also given that 15 meter high and 6 meter wide at a height of 8 meters. So if I take a height of 8 meters, then the width is 6 meters. That means this is minus 3 and that is plus 3. So that makes 6 meters and here we have 8 as the height. So the point here will be 3, 8. So this point will help us find the exact value of the given equation, correct? So in the vertex form, we can write this particular height h of x as equal to a times x square plus 15. a will be negative, which we can always calculate once you substitute this point 3 and 8, right? So we know the point p is 3 and 8 on this particular curve, y value being 8. So h of x is 8 when a is 3. x is 3, right? So 3 square plus 15. Now that gives you 8 minus 15, which is 7, and we get 9a. So we get 7 with a negative sign equals to 9a, and the value of a will be minus 7 over 9. Clear? And therefore, we can write that the height of this parabolic bridge can be written as minus 7 over 9 x squared plus 15. Clear? So that is how we could get the, the equation of the bridge. Now the question remains, how do we find the width of the base? So for that we know height h of x equals to 0, right, to find the base, right, at base. So we'll equate 0 for height. So 0 equals to minus 7 over 9 x squared plus 15. We can rearrange. We get 7 over 9 x squared equals to 15. Or x squared equals to 15 times 9 over 7. So x is equals to plus minus square root of 15 times 9 over 7, right? So let's take the calculator to find this answer. 15 times 9 divided by 7, and then we'll do square root of this answer decimal. We get 4.4. We can say plus minus 4.4, right? So round it to one decimal place. So that means uh, this point here is minus 4.4. The other point there is 4.4. Clear? So that becomes there are two points, and therefore the width of the base is what? Is 4.4 minus of minus 4.4, which is twice this. We can say 8.8, .8 and the units are in meters. Right? So that is how we can write down the solution for the width of the base of this bridge. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So it becomes extremely easy if you take the reference frame as shown here in this particular example. Now let's work on question number two, which is, if the edge of the highway is the origin and the highway is 12 meter wide, what is the equation of the parabola if the height of the overpass two meters from the edge of the highway is eight? So once again, the diagram will be kind of like this. So that's the parabolic path. We're talking about the 
the overpass right and here we'll take the reference frame which is being mentioned like this correct so the this is the edge of the highway right and it's 12 meter wide so so let us say that is uh, the x-axis we'll keep we can keep this as our x-axis so if this point here is at zero since it is 12 meter wide that point here is 12 clear now what we are given here is that <coughs> what is the equation of the parabola if the height of overpass 2 meter from the edge of the highway is 8 meters. So if I go 2 meters from the edge of the highway, right, then the height is 8 meters. This is 8 meters. So that is what is given to us. All right now we need to find the equation of this particular parabola is that clear to you so so that is how we could actually solve this so clearly we have we can now use intercepts we are given two intercepts so we'll use intercepts so the equation now we'll write as y equals to a times this is the first zero x times x and that is the other zero minus 12 to find the value of a we'll use this point so it is 8 when x is 2 so we can just say a times 2 times 2 minus 2 does it make sense to you so 8 equals 2 a times we can say 2a right 2a and this is 10 with a negative sign right so the value of a is 8 divided by minus 20 that is the value of a which you can divide by 4 and you can write this value as minus uh, 2 over 5 so we get the value of y as equal to minus 2 over 5 x times x minus 2 clear so if the edge of the highway is the origin and the highway is 12 meter wide right what is the equation of the parabola if the height of the overpass 2 meters from the edge of the highway is 8? So that becomes the equation of parabola. So the equation is y equals to minus 2 over 5x times x minus 2. Is clear? Now you can always, once you get the equation, find the maximum height and how high the highway is. You can do all those questions later, but that becomes the basics. Is that clear to you? So now with all this in mind, let's take up the last question, which is question number three. A tunnel with parabolic arc is 12 meter wide. So this time again, we have a tunnel, which is uh, 12 meter wide. Okay. If the height of the arc is four meter from the edge, if the height of the arc four meter from the edge is six meters, can a truck that is 5 meter tall and 6 meter wide pass through the tunnel justify your answer so that's very tricky now what can you do for such a situation well again let's take this as our axis and uh, let's take that as the y axis now it says if the height of the arc this arc 4 meter from the edge is 6 meter so that means if we go 4 meter then the height is 6 meters so this is 4 and that is 6 that is what it means right. and we know that the arc is 12 meter wide so we know these two points so with that we get a point on the arc and so we can find the equation of the tunnel so the tunnel height will be what it can be written as a times x times x minus 12 just as we did last time to find the value of a we'll use this particular point which is 4 6 so we are going to use this point which is 4 6 so 6 becomes the height so we get 4 a times 4 minus 12 correct so we can divide 6 by 4 and 4 minus 12 is minus 8 to get the value of 8 so clearly this can be divided by 2 so we get 3 times 2 
So what we have is a equals to negative 3 over 16. So that becomes the value of a. Correct? So let me rewrite the equation which is this tunnel height can be given as minus 3 over 16 x times x minus 12. Now the question is if the height of the arc is 4 meter from the edge is 6 meters can a truck that is 5 meter tall and 6 meter wide pass through the tunnel. So definitely it can pass only if it goes through the center. Truck that is 5 meter tall and 6 meter wide. So it is 6 meter wide. It really means that the center is at 6, right? So if I move 3 on this side and 3 on this side, then I am here at 3, for example, right? And I, here I am at 9. So we want to check whether this height is 5 plus or not. That is the question. Do you set? See the point. Correct? So from the symmetry, we only want to figure out now what is the, the height of the tunnel. at x equals to 3. Do you see that? If it is more than 5, then the truck can pass through the center. Perfect. So let's figure this out. So T3 is equal to, just substitute 3 here. So we have minus 3 over 16 times 3 times 3 minus 12, right? So let's calculate this. We have minus 3 times 3 times, this is 9 with a negative sign over 16. So let's calculate this answer. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 9, 81 over 16. So 81 divided by 16 is what? Uh, in decimals, we are interested. So it gives us, we definitely found this was 81 over 16, which is 5.0625. Do you see that part? So it is just more than 5 and since it is greater than 5 truck will pass right therefore truck can pass through the center right so it has to go through the center and this will just clear right because that height is 5.0625 is slightly more than 5 so I hope that makes sense and with this uh, we have solved the three related questions which involve parabolas, right? But in all the three questions what you found is that we had a totally different approach and it helped to correctly uh, take our x and y axis. So in this particular case we found that that was a good axis. Do you see that? And in these two cases we actually stuck with the normal axis taking one intercept at zero the other one at its total length or width correct so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best